Coach Phillips, you and your Andrews Wildcats are Smoky Mountain Conference champs. That's been your goal uh, since the season started. What does it mean to be at this point in the season? I know the job's not done, but you can relish in this for just a little bit. Yeah, uh, you know, I have to remind myself to do that, but you know, I may take a little longer this weekend uh, to, to, to enjoy this. I mean, the, the kids and the coaches are, you know, we've got a process and, you know, usually we're on to the next team, the next tomorrow. But of course we can't do that because the brackets and we won't know all that who we're playing and film exchange so we can enjoy it a little longer but yeah it's, it's pretty sweet you guys came out this game kind of looked a lot like last year's uh murphy andrews game murphy came out hot uh they scored but you guys responded very well i mean this is a team that does not get down and that that's a testament to the leaders you have but also the coaching staff you have and um, your coaching staff, I don't think, gets enough credit for, for what they do, if you want to speak to what they've done yeah, for you guys I this year. I totally agree with you on that. I mean, I told the other couple of reporters that, uh, you know, I've got a great coaching staff, and I think any head coach would tell you he's only as good as his, as his assistants, and, and I've got great ones. I mean, they do a great job. They put in so much time and energy. They're selfless. Uh, they don't care about themselves. They just care about these kids. Um, you know, it's just uh, they've been with me a long time. You know, all those guys have been with me seven years since I've been here. So that matters a lot too. You know, staying together and getting to know each other. And you know, sometimes we fight like coaches do. And you know, but it's all in the end of the day, we're pulling for each other. And you know, it's all to it's all to try to win. So you know, I'm proud of the staff, proud of the players. Players did a great job, like I said, responding to adversity and and all year. You know, they haven't really been in a position where, where they've been down. I mean, last week, great job against Robbinsville. You come here, you win the conference championship. I heard you, I've heard you talk and some of the players talk about your goals on your board. What's next for the Andrews Wildcats? You're sitting here at 10 and 0, obviously, you know, we got six games left. Yeah, I mean, that, that was the goal. Uh, you know, we're, we're pretty secretive about our, our goals on our whiteboard in there. And, you know, we know them and, you know, they'll be, Donovan will be screaming in my coach's office when we get back looking for a dry erase marker to mark off <laughs> the Circle Conference Championship. And, uh, you know, they've been very methodical. Uh, Best coach ever. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, very methodical about accomplishing their goals. And there, there's there's a season three box up there for playoffs. And, and there are four goals, I believe, uh, up there under the uh, playoff box. So, you know, we'll enjoy this one this weekend, see where the, see where the brackets and our road – for the playoffs go, but most of it's going to go through Andrews. Um, one one last thing I want you to talk about, you guys traveled very well. Your yeah. Wildcat faithful came out, and they showed out tonight. Yeah, uh, I mean, just talk about what they – I mean, this team means a lot to the community, and, and they're they're coming up behind you. It's it's, it's, it's amazing. Uh, I mean, this this community has been, has been unbelievable uh, all, all year. Uh, I mean, the, the crowds at home, I mean, you've been to a couple games there. They, just, they keep getting bigger and bigger. Um, and it felt like we had as many people here tonight as they did. I don't yeah. know if we did or not, but it seemed that way, and they were so loud. Uh, I mean, we had a group of moms and parents feed us this morning breakfast, got up at 6 o'clock and cooked three hours to feed the team <laughs> breakfast. And uh, we had a lift. Uh, we had a game day lift after that. And we pulled in at 5.15, and there's hundreds of fans down here cheering for us already. So, I mean, they're look. I mean, then they're still out there. I mean, they're seeing people out there still. So, um, you know, the town's been amazing, and I know they'll be amazing in the playoffs here. Well, Coach, job's not done yet, and I'm job's sure you guys done. are, are going to keep on trucking. But yes, for right now, go home, celebrate, and go Cats. Go Cats.